Visme allows you to add and fully customize backgrounds. Uh, you can do solid colors, gradients, images, you can even tile images. Let me show you how that's done. In this case, I have a uh, slide uh, canvas area which is just black. And on the left panel here, the very first option is your uh, background options. And the very first one allows you to add custom colors and images. I'll show you that in a moment. The very first one is basically no background. And this uh, wouldn't give you a checker box uh, if you were to download your project or if you were to embed it to another site, but it would uh, take the background of what it is behind it. So um, it's really for more for professional use. If you were to download uh, as a PNG, uh, if you notice these two elements here that are kind of transparent, they would come up and everything else would not. But uh, really, you uh, would recommend that you stick with actual solid color backgrounds or other elements. So in this case, I can click on these presets that are already created. Um, as the, these are actually the elements, the, the backgrounds that I've already created. Uh, but as you scroll down, there's all these other template options, these carefully uh, created colors that are uh, provided to you. And if you scroll further down, you start getting to gradients. So there's very mild, light gradients that are here. Um, and it just goes from different tones to uh, blues and greens and so on. Now, uh, the beauty of the system is that you can also create your own. So I can go here and click plus and you could select from your existing colors. This is a preview area. You could create your own color if you want to, a very specific custom one. Uh, you can also go to uh, gradients and then select from these preset gradients or start actually creating your own. So one by one, you could add that in. Now when you do gradients, I highly recommend that you keep the colors very, very mild. So if you look here, there's a mild change between the, the light and the darkness. It's not a drastic white to black or a very bright orange to a dark one. Uh, we recommend that if you're not familiar with how to use gradients, either don't use them, stick with solid colors, or just go with some of the presets that are provided to you. Okay. Also, images. So this is pretty cool because you can actually uh, select images from the library of images that you've uploaded before, and you can even tile it. So let me show you, show you how that's done. I click on my library, and there's all these images here. So I'm going to go to one, to this one. And this is a pretty big image, so it probably won't require any tiling. So when I click this, if you notice, there's a preview here. So there is my um, background I just created. And in this case, if you look, it becomes the very first shape here. And I could go over any background that I've created and click on the bottom right with the settings. And that will launch the options again. And I can start... Uh, playing around with the, the scaling and so on. So if you look here, I can actually scale this image. So if I wanted to be just concentrating on a certain area, I could do that. Or if I wanted to go smaller, then I can for start tiling it. So in this case, I'm tiling the image to a much, much smaller size. Okay. And so if you look at that, I got a tiled uh, format of the image. Uh, but really, in the case of this image, what's really going to look nice is to just go into a higher scale format, just like that. It's clean and crisp, and I would put my content here on the left side. So uh, this is the way you can actually manage uh, backgrounds in Visme. And going to one more thing, uh, your existing assets, you can do the same thing. So you can go in and actually tile things. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to turn the tiling on, and uh, we're dealing with repetitive options. If you look here, I'm dealing with a grid. So I'm going very, very small in the grid, and there it is. I got a beautiful uh, grid set up here. So these are the options that you have, including this one. Same thing, it's a grid. So I probably want to turn on the tiling and then just go a very small, small grid that I want to go, and I can uh, size that to my needs. So go ahead and enjoy using the background features in